back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I don't know why my daughter have this hat on her head, Lord Jesus. But real quick, I wanted to come to you guys and say, hey, welcome into 2020. We are now into the year 2020. Remember when we were in school? I'm, I'm okay, well, I'm going to just speak for myself. I'm 30, about to be 38. By the time you see this video, I might, I mean, about to be 39. By the time you see this video, I will be 39. But I remember when they said in 2020, there was going to be cars um, floating in the sky and we would be able to like levitate through the sky. Through, through the cities and stuff like they thought everything was gonna be so advanced and high tech in 2020 and here we are in 2020 16 years later lord she elevate my blood pressure that's about it but that is not what this video is about this video is about okay now that we're in the year 2020 what are you gonna do now for me I have been doing a lot of thinking and I've come up with this, which I've heard time and time again, but now it's really ringing true to me. You can't do the same stuff and expect different results. So with that being said, and what that, what that means to me is, I can't continue to do the same thing and expect to do to have something better or different than what I have right now. If I want something different, if I want something better, then I'm going to have to do something different. And sometimes that just means coming out of my comfort zone and doing things that I would not normally do to get to where I need to get. So I'm going to have to do a lot of adjusting my life, adjusting my attitude, adjusting my way of thinking, adjusting how I treat people, just adjusting me all the way around. And with that being said, one of the things I am going to do is I'm not going to be using profanity as much this year because I am a mother. I am a young lady. I know I'm a grown woman. And, you know, it's okay to have a few little cuss words in the bag but when every other sentence is an mf and a b and an h and a s all that you're doing t too much and then like people like won't want to be around you because every word every other word that come out your mouth is a cuss word and that's not attractive that's not attractive on a woman but that's definitely on anybody but that's definitely not attractive on a woman um another thing that i'm gonna do this year is become more financially responsible and I know that's going to be hard, not only on me, but on my children as well. Because I have a set goal to save $20,000 by the end of 2020. January of 2021, I want to have saved $20,000 in my savings account. And y'all know me. Y'all know I love to shop. I love to spend money. I love to go out to eat. I just love spending so, um, not saying that I'm not going to spend this year, but I'm going to be more con conscious and alert of what I spend and how I spend it. And I'll do more, um, thinking about, um, my spending. Like, for instance, like I was talking to my cousin today and I was like, I want some fish, but dang, if I buy fish, I gotta buy fish for everybody and... I don't want to go pay all that money for no fish. But then I sat there and I thought about it while we was on the phone and talking. I'm like, but if I go buy a bag of fish, that's like 13, 15 pieces of fish in that one bag. That I can make a fish sandwich next week, the week after that. We can have fish after that. And all I would have paid, what I would pay for one person to eat fish, I pay that for four people to eat fish. So I'm starting to what you can hit a minute shoot for. Put it in the back, back. Oh, the box is right. So I've started being more uh cautious of how I spend and what I spend. I have downloaded the 52 week app um as well. Let me see if I can get it for you. I've downloaded the 52 week app as well as another savings app called the money box and the piggy bank. So these are my apps. And the 52 week app looks like this. This is what I'm supposed to save every month. So every month I will be saving $167. And that's one app. And then the money box um, is, it knows my goal 
to save $20,000. So I have every month, I have to put back $756. I mean, bi-weekly, I have to put back $756 in order to reach my goal. And the other app, which is my piggy bank, just strictly keeps um, count of the money that I put in my savings account each month or each time I add to it. Um, so is it going to be hard? Definitely, especially for a person that's a shopaholic. Um, shopping is my addiction, so it's definitely going to be hard. But I feel like sometimes you have to make a sacrifice to have better and get better. What? Sometimes you have to make a sacrifice to have better and get better. And sometimes you have to do things that are uncomfortable or you have to, to let some things go. And as I know that in 2020, that is what I'm willing to do. Um, also, I will be doing a lot of uh, self-reflecting, meaning that I'm letting a lot of things go. I'm letting a lot of past hurts go. I'm forgiving those that have angered me and hurt me. And no, it's not easy because I didn't think I was still harboring on people that hurt me or people that have done something to me. But I, I, I am. And I was. But, you know, since then, I've let it go. Um, not saying that I will ever be their friend again or I'll ever talk to them again. But I forgive them for what they did to me. And I forgive them for how they treated me. I just know that I won't ever have a relationship, whether it's a friendship or whatever, with those people again. But in order to cleanse me and cleanse my spirit and cleanse my mindset, I have to forgive those people that I feel have wronged me. They may not have feel they've wronged me, but if I feel they've wronged me, I have to forgive them because I have wronged people. And in that same token, I want to be forgiven by those people and i want to be forgiven by god for doing the wrong that i've done to them so um another thing is i have learned to forgive myself i've learned to forgive myself for not taking care of myself for not being everything that i am supposed to be and that god has wanted me to be i've forgiven myself for not being a good mother i've forgiven myself for not being a good wife i've just forgiven myself for a lot of things because not that i'm a bad parent but there are some areas that i feel like as a parent i have dropped the ball in that i need to pick up i need to practice on the way that i communicate with my children although our communication is really really open and we share and talk about everything when i get mad i'm a hurricane like when i'm mad my mouth is my most deadliest weapon and i know that so with that being said i have to learn how to approach situations and not be so angry when i approach those situations because whether you know it or not it rubs off on your children and um, they become angry people and they learn how to communicate in a not so good way and and that's not good so oh, really? in order yeah I, I know that because it, it, it rubbed off on me all right. I know. I got terrible anger issues that I'm not proud of. So in order for me to want them to change and do better, they have to see that reflection in me. So I will be trying to kind of learn how to not be so quick to anger and not so quick to go off. Kind of try to um, evaluate the situation and come and I'm going to still be mad. But I'm not going to be so much rah, 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 rah. I'm going to learn how to be mad in a safe, calm way. Um, my marriage has gotten extremely better. I am the happiest that I have ever been in a long time. Um, counseling, as you guys know, me and my husband went through marriage counseling. And counseling saved my marriage completely. Um, it's like a whole different man, uh, really. And I'm like a whole different woman. And... So it, it took somebody sitting on the outside to kind of that was that was unbiased to kind of show us, hey, both of y'all can be tripping sometimes. So um, marriage counseling saved my marriage. It's been one hundred percent better, um, and I'm now focused on my marriage, my children, and real 
friendships. That's another thing. That's another thing in 2020 I'm focused on. Real friendships. If you are not a real friend to me, you're not supportive. You don't pray for my family. You don't pray for my marriage. You don't pray for me. You don't pray for our friendship. I don't want to be your friend, period, at all. Because if I'm your friend, I'm praying for your children. I'm praying for your marriage. I'm praying for your, for your relationship. I'm praying for your job. I'm praying for your help. I'm praying for you because you're my friend and you're important in my life. And if you don't serve a purpose in my life in 2020, then we cannot be friends point blank in the period. There's no room for BS. I don't have time for it. It is not on the agenda and I will not be participating in it in 2020. I just want a positive atmosphere. And I understand that you can't be positive all the time and be um, cheery all the time. But if you have more negative days than you have positive days, then you need to do some things with your life because nobody should have 85% bad days. So I'm looking to surround myself around people that are positive, people that I can learn from, people that have goals, people that are leaders, not to lead me, but they're not followers. They can lead themselves and they can be leaders to other people. Um, I want I want bosses around me. And I don't want no boss bitches. Okay. I'm 2020, I'm tired of boss bitches, okay? I, I just want to, I just want a boss. I want a queen around me. I want somebody that's getting me. I want a sister. That's what I want. Like, we're 39. I can't be calling my, because y'all know me and my cousin, we be like, bitch, 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 bitch. That's, it's, that's, it's over. If you get mad when a man call you bitch, no, you don't allow, you shouldn't call each other bitches. So, I am learning that that is not okay. And that I will be definitely taking that out of my vocabulary in 2020. Not to say that I won't slip up every now and then because habits are hard to break, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break that habit. That's what I'm saying. Um, and I will be practicing more self-care Sundays. Monday through Friday, I work. When I'm at home, after I get off of work, I'm dealing with my, my family. Saturdays, I'm doing chores probably. Sunday, I'm at church, but Sundays from here on out will be 100% dedicated to me and my self-care. I will be cooking for my family on Sundays, and then after I cook, it is about me. Because if you don't take a day to make it specifically about you and take care of you on the inside and the outside, then you can't be there for everybody else and you can't be happy. I'm learning to take my health more serious, to take my mental more serious, to take my body more serious, and just to really take care of me because I'm 39, about to be knocking on 40. So, like, I don't have time for it. And I've had a couple of health scares this year that kind of woke me up to understand that I have to be around and still continue to set examples for these children. And I don't want nobody else to be the example that I'm supposed to be. So if I know that I got to continue to take care of myself so I can be here on this earth for my kids. But Self Care Sunday will include facials. Um, I might start making my nail appointments on Sundays. If my nail tech do nails on Sundays. If not, I'm going to just have to go and she there. But I will start probably doing facials on Sundays. I will probably start doing, um, you know, bubble baths and all that good stuff for me just really take lighting candles listening to some music winding down and really taking care of me and just taking care of my mental so that is that is what i'm going to be doing so i will be handling my finances i got a budgeter budget book on its way so that will be helping me with my finances I you already bought one of those. the one i told you about yesterday no, I'm saying like I thought you already had one. They had a new, they had a new, new and improved one, but that wasn't so big. That one's so big that it go into that big journal one that I keep. I needed one for my purse that I could just pack on my purse. So I have one that's coming that's strictly for my purse. But um, also 2020, I will not be buying that many clothes. We will be buying clothes twice a month. Now that's willpower because everybody know Key love to shop, honey. That's not a store that I don't love. But we will only be shopping twice a month. I mean, twice a year. And that's for clothes. Shoes, they get on the regular. That, does, so that, stuff, that doesn't count. Um, I will only be hitting semi-annual sales. 
um, like the candle sales and Bath and Body Works. And when I hit them, I will hit them with a vengeance so I won't have to worry about hitting them until the next time they have a semi-annual sale, which they only have one twice a year. Um, and that's for our body care needs because we use the Bath and Body Works body care. She uses Dove, um, but we use the Bath and Body Works uh, aromatherapy products and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I won't be buying, um, I just, I just, I don't want to have to work all my life. Why are you moving like he's about to hit you? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know how I did it. That's probably why, because I knew. I don't want to have to work all my life, so I know that if I don't want to work all my life, I have to work hard now, so I won't have to work as hard later. Um. So that is what I'll be doing. But yes, 2020, I feel like it's going to be my year. I feel like it's full of blessings. I feel like it's, it's going to be blessings for my children. I feel like it's going to be blessings for my marriage. I feel like it's going to be blessings for my finances. I feel like it's going to be blessings for my job. I just feel like it's going to be blessings for my home. So I'm speaking that into existence. Um, and I'm doing things to make sure that those things happen. Not saying we ain't gonna have a bunch of trials, Lord. Lord knows trials gonna come, but we're gonna have a lot of triumphs too. So I'll take them trials with them triumphs. I'm okay with that because I know God got my back and everything that's supposed to be for me in 2020, He's gonna make sure I have it. But yeah, I plan on doing a lot of different things in 2020. I plan on coming back to you guys more and having more chit chats with you, more natural hair videos more finance updates more weight loss updates just a lot of stuff because i'm finna get back in the gym um so i have a gym membership with plenty of fitness i'm finna be more consistent with the gym and not even necessarily the gym but more i'm gonna be more consistent about my health and working out and not necessarily losing weight because i like being a thickums but more on um being healthy i want to be healthy if i'm gonna be thick let me be healthy um, cause a lot of people don't know, but I'm diabetic and I have sar sarcoidosis. I'm trying in 2020 not to have to take no pills cause I'm gonna try to get rid of these diabetes. Do you understand me? And I'm going to try to make sure that this body is the healthiest that it needs to be. And I, cause this is the only body I got. And it's sad that it took me 39 years to understand that. Um, so yeah. Uh, so you might come along with me and Audrey as we do facials on Sundays and stuff like that. And we'll show you our facial routines. And um, I'll bring you, like, uh, my favorites, whether it's whether it's um, candles, perfumes, body washes, whatever it is. And I'll be bringing you guys just to share some of the things that I like to use and the things that I like to have on deck. So, yeah. I'm finna get out of here. Um, who, who said I was on doing facial with you? I'll Girl, you do it. In the Girl, you do everything. I clean my face in the morning. I'm saying on Sundays. I know, but like before we go to bed. Oh. Um, so but I still clean my face. But it's self care Sundays. But like my face is already gonna be clean because I clean it every. But you don't wanna do self care Sundays with me? I clean my face every morning. She wants. She's gonna be getting her eyebrows done. She won't lashes, but her lashes is beat, honey. So she not getting no lashes. But we're going to do them eyebrows because she right. Them eyebrows, she got the thickest eyebrows <laughs> on the man. They like baby caterpillars sitting on her face. No, no, man. Not one man. No, no, man. I, I, I done seen some of you helpers with no so eyelashes because y'all keep wearing these damn eyelashes. And that's not going to be her. She's not going to be bald by the eyes. It's not like I'm going to wear it every day. It's like... It's she like, will, do you so see these weird. eyelashes? She got the most perfect Bro, can eyelashes nobody see in them? They look like regular eyelashes. Can't nobody she see She has the most perfect eyelashes known to me. And then she got a full bottom. I don't even have a full bottom. She has a full bottom of lashes. She would not be walking around here bald by the eyes because she got I put mascara on. Like, yeah, is it mascara on her right now? Yes, and when you keep mascara on for a long period of time, you don't take it off, your eyelashes get Oh, baby, get mama that. got to school you then. You got to take that mascara off every night. I don't. I don't like to. You want to know why? Why? Because they do documentary. You get mites, like lice, on your eyelashes. Ooh. Yes, baby. Well, that's why you be th you be thinking I'm. Tri I take what you see me doing. I take my at night when I have makeup on. Take I take my makeup off because you. They did a. This lady had lice on her eyes. Like look it up on your Google phone. I'm not doing that. I don't want to. Yes, she had, and they live and crawl. On your eyelashes, they they bugs on your eyes. You have to take this. You got to take makeup off at night. 
You cannot leave it on. You will cause yourself to get lice on your eyes. But it's just mascara. It's, that's, the, that's where the lice come from. Mascara. Mm. You have to take it off. You got to. You can't You can't wear that every night. And then you got to think about it. When you sleep, stuff is steady coming, falling. Like particles. I sleep under my cover, like directly under my cover. Even under your cover. That's why I be on you so bad about washing your sheets and stuff so often. Because it's dust mites in your sheet. It's a okay, living... I don't like talking about bugs. But I, I got to I gotta school you on that because I want you to practice taking care of not only yourself, but those, everything around you. So, what do you have going on for 2020? What are you going to do different? Are you talking to me? <laughs> what are you going to do different 2020? No pressure. If you don't, if you, if you haven't thought about it, then that's fine. I'm um, really working on my anger because I be, ooh, oh my God, I be getting mad to the point where I do things and I look back like, oh my God, why did I do that? And people just be looking at me like, girl, calm down. And then like when somebody tell me to calm down and I'm mad, that make me even madder. Like if I'm upset and I'm going off, it's like, girl, calm down. You're doing the most. That's going to make me madder. And that's going to put me on a higher level than I already was. Like, I just need to work on my temper. And how I talk to people and just, I don't know, like work on my grades because boy, the testing is not it. Like, I can do the good in school and I understand everything, and then we get to the test. I, it's just, yeah, that's not, it's not it. Really, just, really, that's really it. Just my anger, the way I carry myself, and my grades. And that says a lot. Um, for her because she knows where her weaknesses are and she's saying hey these are my weaknesses this is where i'm not so strong at and these are the things that i need to fix about myself in order to become a stronger individual so that says a lot and sometimes you have to reevaluate yourself and and understand that there are, there are things that you need to work on what i'm learning and i didn't want to admit this for the longest when people keep saying the same thing about you sometimes it ain't the people Sometimes it's you. Like, I had to learn that how I talk to people sometimes can come off real rude and real nonchalant and real stank and real aggressive. And I had to learn that everybody is not accustomed to that way of speaking. And you, certain people, may, and I used to be this person, that may feel like, oh, I don't have to change who I am for nobody. I don't have to change the way I talk to people. This is me. And if they don't like me for me, oh, damn well. But the thing is, you do. If you plan on being in society and you plan on being in this world, you have to adjust the way you treat, talk, and act to, with, when it comes to people. And not necessarily changing who you are, but changing the way you present yourself to people. You know, you don't. I don't want people to think I'm some, some aggressive, bad attitude having person. So with that being said, I have to change the way I present myself to people. At work, there's no reason for me to be no 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 no. That's not professional. So I've learned to have my professional tone and my at home tone. When I'm at home, I could kick back and I could talk like I'm talking to you guys now. When I'm at home, I could kick back and just really, really, really be myself. But then when I'm at work, they're gonna get this tone because this tone is my professional voice, and I want you to know that you are well taken care of and you're in very good hands. Have a great day. Um, but when I'm at home, but when I'm at home, you get this because this is me. So I'm learning that there is there is there is home key, and then there's professional key, and I'm learning to balance those. And I want her to learn those same things. And if I want her to learn those, I have to be her example. And even me and her, we bump heads. Because she, when she get mad, she do the most. And I have to be like, hey, calm down. You tripping. Like, anybody, get away from me. Because I don't want to hear that. You're doing too much. I ain't got time. You, you're pissing me off now. Move. And it, don't it, don't, am I telling the truth? And, and, and it have to, and, and, and that's not good. You know, and I have to learn, I have to teach her how to learn how to approach things. Not so aggressively. Not be so defensive. Because when she feels like she's being attacked, she gets very defensive. And I have to teach her how to ha ha put her emotions in check. Not saying that you can't be mad, you can't be upset, you can't be excited, you can't be happy, you can't be full of joy. 
but learn how to handle those emotions and learn how to display those emotions to where it's not offensive to other people. So, yeah. We're going to get out of here because we already been talking almost 25 minutes. It is 25 minutes. This is almost a 30-minute video. But I just wanted to say Happy New Year's. I hope your new year... I hope 2020 is a blessing to you. I hope that everything that you've been trying to get in 2019 that you get in 2020 i pray that everything that 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 you have declared that you need and want in your life that god gives it to you if it's something you're supposed to have and i just pray for everybody to be progressive productive and persistent so i will see you guys in the next video and welcome 2020 because i'm about to hit the ground running and this year is my last semester in college and my children will see me for the first time ever walk across the stage i did not have a prom i did not have a high school diploma i have a gd but they will see me walk across the stage and get my college certificate um in business management and i'm so excited i'm so happy me and my son will actually be graduating at the same time so i'm so freaking happy so i'm finna get out of here remember if nobody told you you were beautiful Wait, remember so this... you have a prom no yeah. no this is college they don't have prom yeah, this girl was so i can have a reason to wear a dress oh wow okay i'm finna get out of here can we go with prom she teamed too much i want to have a... just, just... well i'm gonna ask the senior to take me to their prom much Good. i don't want to go to prom don't see no i got an ar-15 sitting under my bed and your brother got a machete. All right. We're going to get out of here. Remember, if nobody told you you were beautiful, remember Simply Key will always tell you you're beautiful because you simply are. It's the same. I'm not changing my slogan. It's the same all year round, 365 days out of the year. This is Princess Audrey. We are going to get ready to get out of here. Tell the people about. I'm too big to be called Princess Audrey. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're a princess. I'm too big for that. Your name Audrey. <laughs> I'm too big for that. Princess Audrey. I'm too big for that. What are we gonna call you? Something Prin that's not that. Princess Audrey. No, <laughs> something that's not that. Like we don't have nothing else to call you. Let me think. Let me think something. You you tell your daddy you you took me to be called princess. I already tried. Exactly. Yeah. You're only gonna be a princess in my yard. Uh, no matter what, you're still gonna be my little princess. Exactly. Princess Audrey. Good day, y'all. I thought I closed them out. I didn't.